Now that you've learned how to remove personally identifiable information and alter data to provide more privacy, you'll learn how to create synthetic or fake data sets by sampling from probability distributions. When data resembles a probability distribution, we can use that distribution to generate new data. This is one approach to achieving anonymization because the idea is we are creating a fake data set with fake people that is still statistically representative of the original data. For this lesson, you'll be looking at the male fertility data. We see there are 100 observations and several variables that contain personal information. Suppose you want to release participant information on childhood disease. You can generate a synthetic data set by sampling from a binomial distribution. In order to sample from a binomial distribution, you must know the proportion of participants who had a childhood disease. To do this, we use summarize at to select the variable child disease and find the average using the mean function. You see that 87% of the participants experienced a childhood disease. You can now sample from a binomial distribution by using the function rbinom. You will generate 100 samples, set the size to 1, and use 87% as your probability. From this, you can create a synthetic data set where the proportion of participants who had a childhood disease is now 83%. You can generate other types of data as long as you identify a proper probability distribution. Here is a histogram of the values from our sitting that you saw earlier in the video. The histogram roughly resembles a normal distribution, but has values that are skewed to the right. So you should apply a log transformation. Also note that the values are normalized and are bounded by zero and one. This is important to remember because sometimes you might generate improper values that you need to correct. After applying a log transformation on our sitting by using the mutate function, we will assign a new name for the data called FERT. To sample from a normal distribution, you need to take the average and standard deviation of our sitting using summarize at. Since you are applying more than one function, make sure to use funds inside summarize at to apply both mean and SD at the same time. You can see that average is roughly minus 1.01 .01 and the standard deviation is about 0.50. You can now sample from a normal distribution by using the rnorm function. Remember to transform back the data using the exponential, that is, the exp function, since you applied log transformation before taking the mean and standard deviation. Remember that the original data was bounded by 0 and 1, so in case you generate any values outside these bounds, you should convert them such that any values above 1 are set to 1 and any values below 0 are set to 0. This is called hard bounding. An alternative to hard bounding is resampling the improper values until you obtain proper values. For now, we'll focus on hard bounding. Now, it's your turn to generate synthetic data.